Hey, bring a trailer. We are looking at this really special and clean Mercedes-Benz W211 sedan E320 Bluetech, which as you know, means it's a diesel. Um, special car, low miles. It's a true one owner car. Bought and sold new in Louisiana, which is where I purchased the car from. And I love the color combo. I love the diesel. I've owned a CDI, Bluetech, MLs, you name it. Um, such a great riding car. Such smooth um, acceleration. Huge amounts of torque. A little frost on the window there. I had the AC cranking and it's warm here today. Um, I want to talk about the car. Again, one owner, dealer serviced, just did the big services, did the oil cooler on it. That's a huge item on these. If you're considering a blue tech, if it hasn't been done, budget to have it done and get it done. Um, one thing to note on this car is it does have, it says it has a ding on the Carfax. Um, I can find absolutely no signs of paintwork. Um, I don't know if maybe the previous owner hit somebody's mirror um, or something like that and the police were called. I don't know. The Carfax doesn't give any more information, but what I can tell you from looking at the car, looking at the body lines, um, looking in the door jams, running a paint meter on it, which is pretty important, um, I can find no signs of any damage anywhere. Um, but just wanted to get that out of the way. You will see those paint meter readings. Again, a beautiful car. Has that nice wooden steering wheel, heated seats. Interior is just, I love it. I love the exterior, I love the interior. Um, take a look at those undercarriage photos. It does have a set of WeatherTech mats, which will be included, um, as well as these. So they had two sets of mats. The windows were tinted when I got it. It had rain guards. So whoever bought this car, bought every accessory they could get. They obviously knew what they wanted. Um, and, uh, you know, and did it the way they wanted to have it done. It does have a few dings and scratches. I want to note, um, there's a little touch up here on this door edge. Same with this one. And then these little, areas here which i am going to buff a little bit i'll add some photos after but again i just like to point stuff out like that nice michelin tires all around no wheel marks to note no dents or dings on the front no chips or scratches nothing on the glass original windshield in the car and then on this back side here you'll see a little area that's been touched up um, if I back up you really don't see it in this lighting I try to show everything and then again here a little area that's been touched up um, I considered having that rear strip repainted by my um, painter but you know what I think it's better to show the car um, as it is, we can have that taken care of if you'd like. Um, you know, it's something you can do if you decide to keep the car. Or, or, I'm sorry, if you end up winning the car and it drives you crazy, have it done. But the main point being the car is all original paint, all original interior. Um, never been modified or deleted or tuned like so many of these diesels are becoming. And that makes a big difference in my opinion whatever that's worth. <laughs> and 
and the seats. I mean, I don't see any cars brand new looking, but it's it's pretty close. Uh, they had weather techs in there, which kept the mats nice and clean. Um, my chips over there, I've been driving this car. Let me tell you, when this car, when you pull out on the road and you get on it, um, it will get up and go. A little scuff on the door there. <clears throat> a little indent on the back of the 